Remember, folks, we showed you how to get your dog interested in retrieving and to start your puppy uh, on building the enthusiasm in a, an earlier session. Remember, this is, this is a dog that's a little further along, and the prerequisites to get to this point are your dog is really enthusiastic about retrieving and will do five or six retrieves at least before even thinking about losing interest. And remember, don't overdo the retrieving. The dog should be as excited on the last retrieve as he was the first. And if he's not, you need to back off and do a lot less retrieves. So let's get started with steadiness. Steadiness literally means that the dog is going to sit and wait to be sent. Now, we already introduced steadiness, believe it or not, with the dog crate in for earlier sessions. And then we continued steadiness with having the dog sit and wait to be fed. So this should be a very, very easy transition. In dog training, you want to make the rungs of your ladder very close together. So we've got a long lead, we've got a DT Systems bumper, and we've got our dog. Let's get started. So the first thing that we want to do is make sure the dog's enthusiastic. So let's do a fun retrieve. We're actually going to release the dog first, then throw the bumper. That way we know our dog understands that they are released and we're not going to be building a bad habit of breaking. DT, DT. a boy. Okay. Okay, good boy, good boy, all right, good, good, sit. Now that we got our dog excited and ready to retrieve, we'll work on steadiness. With steadiness, we're gonna present the bumper just like we presented the food bowl. We got the leash in one hand, bumper in the other, sit. In the beginning, we're just gonna drop it from about a foot off the ground. Now, if our dog breaks, we'll stop him and catch him before he gets it, just like with the food bowl. Sit. Eventually, your dog will accept and stay steady when you drop the bumper. And of course, if they're steady, we're going to send them by saying their name. DT. Okay, what a dog, what a dog, what a dog, what a dog. Good. Guys, this is a very simple transition. Now that we have the dog doing that, we're just going to extend the retrieve to longer and longer and longer distances. Remember, if your dog breaks, or nudges forward, or anything that you don't want to see later. Remember, this is a positive reinforcement, being able to go to the retrieve. So take the retrieve away if they make a mistake. Watch your dog as you throw the bumper. Now the dog stayed perfectly still. I can send him. DT. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy, buddy. Good boy. And don't worry if they drop it, folks. Just don't let them go back after it. If the dog drops it as they're coming back in, just reel them in and show them they're not going to have any more fun if they drop the bumper. If they're willing to hold the bumper, bring them in. Don't take the bumper right away. Good boy. And let them know that holding it is what we want. Good. Sit. As your dog progresses with this, you can add all kinds of different elements of distraction. For instance, you could blow a duck call. You could make all kinds of different noises. You can, you can really work on getting the dog to decipher other noises, including other words, from their own name or the release command. So let's just show you how, sit. Let's work on teaching our dog to decipher his name from other words. One, two, okay. The dog just made a mo motion, so we're gonna stop him, sit. I don't want him to do that every time a bird falls. And this is where we establish precedent. So I'm going to take the bumper away, and we'll start again. Sit. One, two, floor, ceiling, dog, DT. And as you can see, he's learned to decipher his own name. Why? Because every time he failed, I would take that positive reinforcement away, and every time he succeeded, I'd give it to him. Once your dog has this simple step understood, then you're going to actually go to two bowls. Sit. You put one bowl on either side of the dog, and you'll have the treats in your hand. You'll simply place a treat in one of the bowls, come back. If he's 